guys so today we are on cha-ching number 70 so let's just get started with where we left off um in my last cha-ching i did have a lot of fairy lamps so the next couple ones are also fairy lamps uh first one we have is a set of two fenton white hobnail fairy lamps these sold for $49.99. Actually, one of these came from an auction and the other one I picked up at a yard sale. So I kind of had them around the same time. That's why I put them together. Uh, next one actually did go to a subscriber. This one, again, was a Fenton Fairy Lamp. It was hand-painted. It had a blue lid with hand-painted daisy flowers on the top. That sold for $59.99. You will also be seeing a lot of um, Department 56 ornaments in this cha-ching as well. Um, th this next one was a Department 56 Pumpkin Princess Halloween ornament that sold for $29.99. This next item came from an auction. I won this. It was called a bunk warming pad. So it was specifically made for like... Um, people that drive tractor trailers to put into the bed, um, you know, when they go to sleep at night, it was a pad that, you know, warmed up to keep you warm. It was still in its original packaging. Um, I won that at an auction and I know I didn't pay much for it at all. And that sold for $49 and 99 cents. Next, we have a Bunny Surprise Plush. Uh, this was a newer version. There were older versions of these, like the Kitty Surprise and the uh, Puppy Surprise, but this one was the Bunny Surprise. That sold for $25.99, and that did come from a yard sale. Next item did go to a subscriber as well. Uh, this was a sack metallic purse. Um, this went to Pam. Uh, this one here, I feel like, um, I don't know if this came from a thrift store or a yard sale. I think it came from a yard sale. That sold for $26.99. These next, this was a set. Uh, next item was a set of... Um, beer glasses. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of these. Um, they came from an auction. I had won something and these were, I got like all of these just random like beer glasses and stuff like that um, with the, the main item that I wanted. So I decided to list these and they sold fairly quickly, uh, for $19 and 99 cents. So that was awesome to, to have them in and out very fast. Uh, the next item I have is a Joseph Originals October Girl. So this was a little ceramic Joseph Originals girl that sold for $9 and 99 cents. And I do have <laughs> um a story about that one at the end of the video we will get to that um that came from a yard sale and i probably paid um a quarter or 50 cents for it a next item came from an auction this was a set of hoosier um it was a clear ribbed glass canister with matching salt and pepper shakers those sold for $59.99. Again, they came from an auction. Next item also came from an auction. I won this, um, you know, the same auction that I won all of the uh, Fenton Fairy Lamps. This was a Fenton sign. It was just a little plastic sign. Um, the lady who, you know, owned all the Fenton pieces had this sign displayed in her hutch with all of the rest of her Fenton pieces. Um, so I thought it would, you know, be a, a cool piece for anyone who maybe, you know, has an antique booth and sells a lot of Fenton pieces and that kind of thing. I think I only paid like a dollar for this sign at the auction because no one wanted it. They only wanted, you know, like the glass pieces. Uh, but that sign sold for $57.99. So I'm glad I decided to take that. 
Next item also came from an auction. This was a new old stock um, cookie cutter, donut cutter. It um, was by a company called Miro. That sold for $9.99. I sold a set of two Barbie doll garment bags with some hangers. So this was just like a little lot of random Barbie accessory pieces that sold for $9.99. I sold a Department 56 Halloween ornament of a spider on a tricycle. This was so freaking cute. I loved it. Um, that sold for $35.99. Next item was another Department 56 Halloween ornament. This was a cat wearing shoes that sold for $25.99. So some of these Department 56 ornaments you have already seen in other cha-chings and you might see some, you know, in, in future cha-chings just because I had more than one of them available. Next item was a Mount St. Helens Ashware Grizzly Bear. I got this at a yard sale. Um, it was actually made using ash from the Mount St. Helens eruption. That sold for $20.49. So when I won those clear ribbed canister and salt and pepper shakers, I also won this set of Hoosier canister and matching salt and pepper shakers. These ones were in a style called clam broth. So they had, um, they weren't clear, but they had almost like this milky kind of color to them. And those ones were worth more. Those sold for $79.99. Uh, next item we have is a vintage blue swung vase that sold for $29.99. That also came from an auction. I had won a bunch of like blue glass <laughs> pieces. Uh, we have another Department 56 Halloween ornament. This one was of a jail dog. <laughs> These were just all so incredibly cute. Uh, that one sold for $25.99. Next is probably the the biggest sale from within this cha-ching. This was of a perfume. It was by a company called Frederick Mal, if I am pronouncing that correctly. And the scent was called Portrait of a Lady. I got this at a yard sale. I paid 50 cents for this bottle of perfume and it sold for $289.99. So this is a very expensive perfume. I don't know why it was so cheap at the sale. Maybe someone didn't know exactly what they had type of thing. Um, but regardless, if you ever see this brand, definitely pick it up. I had never heard of it before I purchased it, but I was like 50 cents for a perfume. Hello, I'm going to buy it anyway because you guys know I love perfume. So yeah, that was an amazing sale. I had no idea. That was news to me. Uh, next we have a pair of vintage sneakers. Um, I picked these up at a yard sale. I didn't know who they were made by. They kind of gave me Converse vibes, but I don't think they were necessarily Converse. I just, I really had no idea. And they weren't in the best condition either. I debated on listing them, but they still sold for $19.99. Next, I have another perfume. This one was called Unmistakable. That sold for $14.99. I did get that at a yard sale as well. Um, that one definitely took a while to sell. I feel like I had had that for a while. Uh, next, we have a candle snuffer. And this just, it was sil like a silver color and the handle um, kind of looked like a deer antler. That sold for $13.99. I think I originally owned that. I think I got it at Target like a long, long time ago. Um, and it just wasn't, you know, something I really was interested in having in my decor anymore. Uh, next we have a blazer by Morona. This sold for $8.99. So not much there. Um, Eric and I once purchased a storage unit and there was a bunch of clothes in there that came from the storage unit. 
Um, next we have a vintage Vivitar camera. This was new, still sealed. Um, it still had like a pack of film in there and everything. That sold for $25.99 and I did pick that up at Goodwill. Um, it did take a while to sell though. I had that for a while. Uh, next item came from a yard sale. I probably paid about a dollar or so for it. Um, it was an art glass elephant it was very large very heavy um you know we said a prayer before <laughs> we sent that one out um but it arrived in peace um that sold for $19.99 next item we have is a Joan Rivers necklace this actually like when you pulled it open there was a watch in it as well so a really cool piece that sold for $25.99 I did get that at a yard sale um, over the summer. I picked up a bunch of um, jewelry, some Joan Rivers jewelry. I do still have a few pieces left from, you know, that uh, particular yard sale trip. Next, we have a Bradford Exchange Mickey Mouse clock. Um, he was really cool. Um, his tail would, you know, move at the bottom. That came from an auction and it sold for $59.99. I sold the, this Fenton piece also was at the same auction that I won like the fairy lamps at. It was a custard glass angel. She had a painted like patriotic style design on her and she sold for $34.99. Um, here's another Department 56 Halloween ornament. This is the Fuzzy Spider. Um, I've sold numerous ones of these. This sold for $39.99 and you'll actually see this again in the cha -ching. Um, next was a pair of Clark's driving shoes. These were Clark's Privo. Clark's has like all these different, um, I don't know what you want to call it. Not necessarily brands, but maybe brands. Like there's Clark's Bendables, Clark's Artisan, Clark's Privo. Like there's just all these different ones. Um, I got these shoes at a church rummage sale. Um, and I'm pretty sure I paid $2 for them. And those sold for $39.99. Next item also came from like a box lot at an auction. This was just a vintage um winter beanie hat and scarf and they were for um a local high school here in my hometown those sold for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents um i have a victoria's secret perfume body spray in the scent dream angels kiss that sold for twenty eight dollars and ninety nine cents that did come from a yard sale probably paid a dollar for it. I have another one of those Department 56 Halloween ornaments of the Fuzzy Spider that sold for $39.99. I'll have to look. I don't know if I have any more of those or not. I feel like I sold so many of these <laughs> Fuzzy Spider ornaments. Uh, next we have a vintage Garfield bookmark that sold for $12.99. I actually have quite a few of these different designs and they were free from a yard sale. And then the last thing that I have from this particular cha-ching was a Polish pottery mug that sold for $12.99 and I did pick that up at a yard sale. That did take a while to sell. Um, I like picking up the Polish pottery pieces. Some of them I feel like don't really sell for much, but um, I actually went to a shop in Gettysburg um, that sells nothing but Polish pottery pieces and I actually purchased a piece um, for myself and it was very expensive. So it's just kind of crazy that um, the resale value on some of those pieces really isn't as much as, you know, if you go into a shop and actually, you know, buy the pieces. It's kind of crazy. Um, but that is everything for this cha -ching. You guys know um, at the end of the video, I like to discuss um, issues that have arisen on eBay. 
Um, for this particular cha-ching, I did not have any non-paying bitters. Um, I feel like sales are doing okay. Today is actually Black Friday, and I have not had any sales yet. So I'm assuming, you know, everyone, since, you know, we couldn't really go anywhere last year to go out shopping and stuff like that, I feel like now that people are you know going out they they want to get out and actually go to the store and shop and stuff like that so um but i'm just kind of like waiting for a cha-ching today but i haven't heard any so hopefully um people start getting into more of a shopping mood um and you know buy some stuff but um also within this cha-ching i wanted to talk about an issue um, that I had with one of these items and that was that Joseph Originals girl that I sold for $9.99. So I picked this up at a yard sale and her hand was broken. Um, so I wasn't even gonna buy her at the sale, but I was like, you know what? She's really cute. A lot of people are very creative when it comes to DIYing things and stuff like that. So I figured if I can list her for just super cheap and someone really likes her, they can, you know, just glue a little something on her hand area, like a little, you know, piece of flower or something like that. So it looks like she's holding something. So, like I said, I don't like buying stuff that, you know, has issues um, just because I fear people won't look at the pictures clearly and won't, you know, um, read the auction descriptions and stuff like that. Uh, so, the person who purchased that Joseph Originals, um, they had messaged me saying um, what after they had, you know, received the um figure they had messaged saying something along the lines of like they understand they knew it was broken but they weren't happy they said it was more noticeable than what the pictures made it look like or something like that it was just kind of like weird and odd and i figure you know right off the bat i was thinking they you know just weren't happy with it and you know wanted to return it buyer's remorse basically i mean it was a nine dollar and 99 cent figure so not a whole lot of money there to begin with um i when i listed it i took very clear pictures of the breakage i took um very clear description stating that it was broken and that kind of thing so on my end i did everything that i was supposed to so you know the buyer knew exactly what they were getting i denied their return because you know quite frankly they just you know had buyer's remorse and i denied their return well because i denied their return they got very angry about it um even though i'm allowed to deny as a seller you are allowed to deny a return um so i denied it and they got mad so the next step <laughs> they weren't done oh no um they were you know adamant about getting getting the refund basically so the next step was they ripped you know underneath and i'm gonna post a picture because you guys when i do my hauls you see the stuff you know what condition it's in um in the picture that i'm popping up here you can clearly see the sticker was intact on the bottom of this figure well they went the extra step they ripped off half of the sticker so they messaged me again saying that they were upset that the item wasn't described that the sticker was ripped off so now they're saying something completely different just so they can try and get a refund so right away i tell them like i have absolute 100 percent proof 
that this sticker was intact and that you literally ripped the sticker in an attempt to gain a return. Um, so super shady, very super shady. I did already block them so they will no longer ever be able to purchase anything else from me. So, um, again, they got angry and they decided to get eBay involved. So eBay opened um, a case basically where they step in and decide what, what to do basically. Um, whether or not this person deserves a refund and that type of thing. So eBay clearly knows everything. I posted pictures of the bottom sticker and that, you know, it was obviously intact. I would never rip a sticker off something before I ship it and that kind of thing. So um, just crazy buyer, basically. Um, so this case has been open since October 20th and it is still pending. eBay has never closed the case. It's still pending since October 20th. I have no idea when they're ever going to decide to close the case. Um, so it, all over this freaking $9.99 figure, I should have just refunded her to like completely get it away and gone out of my life um but it's one of those things where it's like you kind of have to stand your ground with these people who you know there's buyers out there who are scammy and you know and that kind of thing so I don't know it's just it's one of those things that like really kind of gets under your skin a little bit um just dealing with dis honest people um but yeah so that was like the main thing that was surrounding you know anything that was within this cha-ching that's why I like to wait until I get to the item that is in the cha-ching so that I can talk about it a little bit more thoroughly in the video kind of like a little bit of a rant but also as like fair warning to you know people who do resell on eBay you are it's not all peaches and cream you will um, get these types of people buying your stuff and you will get these types of problems like they do arise um, so yeah that's just the latest in this fiasco basically but um, we'll see I'll let you guys know if that case ever um, stops pending and I'll let you know the outcome of it basically um, but that's everything for this cha-ching I hope you guys enjoyed it you'll have to let me know what you thought down below if you ever encountered a buyer like that who got upset that you wouldn't refund them so they decided to um, mess up the item in some way to try to gain a, an attempt to get their money back another way. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.